Well, so um, the verdict, I mean, from the oh. summary of it is that um, the CAS has um, effectively dismissed the appeal lodged by Wilfred or say Palmer in its entirety. Um, because the CAS has, um, that's the Court of Arbitration for Sports, has decided that it will not so annul the elections that were held um, to bring President Keto Kweku into office mm -hmm. as GFA president. And um, the CAS has um, equally um, upheld the decision of the elections committee of the GFA then um, that indeed Mr. Osei Palmer had not demonstrated um, the moral turpitude required of a president of a football federation yeah. such as the GFA and for that purpose he was not fit was not fit to be the president. So in effect, he, he his disqualification from that election has been upheld by the Court of Arbitration for Sports. And um, the, 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 the decision, the pith of the decision is really on the ethical issues. Right. The ethical issues of the unspecified comments regarding the unspecified um, uh, payments, the um, payments that were unclassified payments yeah. that were referred to by Mr. Uh, Osei Palmer, those comments which um, the Ethics Committee of the GFA then uh, investigated and um, urged him to withdraw and apologize uh, for. So um, the decision to a large extent dwelt a lot more on that ethical issue. On the other issue of the non-payment of the 10% uh, of the transfer fee of Joseph Pencil to the GFA, yeah. the Court of Arbitration for Sports held that even though uh, Palmer had undertaken to ensure that the club that is Tema Youth, yeah. which he heads, which is owner of Bankroller Off, yeah. uh, would pay, um, that was not a strong ground okay. for disqualification from uh, the election. Right. So on that ground, the cast held that it was not a strong enough ground for even though um, the club had not indicated any reasonable cause why it had failed to make that payment right. to date. That was no justifiable cause for disqualifying um, Mr. Wilfred or say from contesting the GFA presidential elections. But um, basically, the court also upheld that the GFA's Elections Committee had indeed set a high standard with that integrity check that it introduced for exactly. the elections, and even even um, um, even urged the the FA going forward that for future elections such high standards should be maintained to ensure that there is fairness across board. So what it means basically, uh, Yao, is that Mr. Osei Palmer has not been cleared of the misconduct. Yeah. Uh, that the issue of misconduct that was leveled against him yeah. and on ethical grounds, the uh, Court of Arbitration for Sports believes that the GFA, that is the normalization committee then was right in deciding that he was not fit to contest uh, the position of GFA president. So it means that going forward in the future, this issue continues to be a bar to Mr. Wilfred or says uh, um, any attempt on his part exactly. to stand for election. Right. And, and that is serious because yeah. what it means effectively is that his political career in football circles yeah. Yeah. Um, is effectively uh, over. over. Right. That's what it 